This is the standard green flame recipe. You take one tablespoon of borax, and a quarter cup of ethanol, or methyl alcohol, sorry. And we're going to be using heat. Try not to get that on your hands because we're going to be lighting that later. Give it a good stir. Try to get it to dissolve. It may not want to dissolve all the way, but that's okay. why I'm using a coffee can. It's nice and deep and I can give it a good swish. Starting to dissolve. Then we're going to take it outside and test it out. Here it goes. It's just lovely. <laughs> it's very, very warm. Uh, I understand now why uh, most places recommend that you do not burn this in glass. Obviously, don't use wood or plastic. It will melt very quickly. I'm a little concerned about the coffee can. So there you have it. Here it is. Um, I have to admit I'm a bit colorblind. I'm not sure how green it is. It does appear to be light green at the very least at times. I'm going to try a different recipe with a more concentrated boric acid base. Here's what's left after the alcohol burn away. As you can see it uh, didn't leave any soot or anything like that. It just took out the alcohol. Uh, I suspect that's mostly sodium from the borax but uh, not sure. The can's still intact. No heat damage or anything like that. So, yay, I'm going to go ahead and reuse it. So here's the experimental part of the video. Using the large can from before, I will mix one tablespoon of borax with a quarter cup of 91% isopropyl alcohol rather than the methyl alcohol, just to see what happens. In the medium can, I will use one tablespoon of the boric acid and a quarter cup of the methyl alcohol and in the small can I'm going to use table salt and methyl alcohol. Let's see what happens. Well, here they are. This one is the original recipe using the uh, isopropyl alcohol instead of the methyl alcohol. This is the methyl alcohol with the boric acid and this is the table salt with the methyl alcohol. Um, as you can see it's a greenish flame. It seems to be a lot greener than the other one was. And uh, this one's got quite a bit of blue to it. Um, maybe green, I'm not sure. Like I said before, I'm a bit colorblind. And uh, now I know why we don't use the 91% alcohol, because it's already out. Before, that same amount lasted about 20 minutes. And now it's completely out. I'll try to light it again. Well, maybe 
it just blew out. Well, there you have it. Pretty cool. On a side note, I'd like to point out that the boric acid is uh, very smoky and quite stinky. So you might want to take that into consideration if you want to try this re recipe out. Um, you can see it a bit when the other flame lights up. But uh, yeah, it's gross.